What does it mean for the world when one nation's industrial subsidies potentially risk global economic resilience? This is the question that U.S. Treasury Chief Janet Yellen brought to light during her recent visit to China. As the sun rose in the southern city of Guangzhou on a Thursday, Yellen arrived for several days of talks with Chinese officials. This marked her second visit to the world's second largest economy in less than a year, a testament to the importance of these discussions. Yellen wasted no time in expressing her concerns about China's overcapacity, a situation she sees as a direct result of substantial subsidies provided to Chinese industries. Industries such as solar, electric vehicles, and batteries, she warned, risk creating a surplus of cheap goods, potentially threatening similar sectors in other countries. Direct and indirect government support is currently leading to production capacity that significantly exceeds China's domestic demand as well as what the global market can bear, she shared with the U.S. business community in Guangzhou. She continued by stating, overcapacity can lead to large volumes of exports at depressed prices, and further warned that this could result in an overconcentration of supply chains, posing a risk to global economic resilience. These concerns, Yellen was quick to clarify, are not part of an anti-China policy. Rather, they aim to mitigate the risks of an inevitable global economic dislocation that could result from a lack of change in Chinese policies. The focus of Washington, she emphasized, is to manage U.S.-China ties so that they are resilient and can withstand shocks and challenging circumstances. Addressing a gathering organized by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce in China, Yellen expressed a desire to discuss with Chinese officials the challenges faced by U.S. businesses operating in the country. These challenges include Beijing, imposing barriers to access for foreign firms, and taking coercive actions against American companies. She strongly believes that ending these unfair practices would not only benefit American firms, but would also improve the business climate in China. Later that day, Yellen met with Vice Premier He Lifeng. In the morning, she assured the governor of Guangdong, a province emblematic of the reforms and development that propelled China's rapid growth, that the United States was dedicated to maintaining a healthy economic relationship. However, she firmly stressed that this relationship required a level playing field for American workers and firms, as well as open and direct communication on areas where we disagree. In summary, Yellen's statements highlight a need for change in China's industrial subsidy policies, not as an attack on China, but as a safeguard for the global economy. Her focus is on resilience, fairness, and open communication to ensure a healthy economic relationship between the United States and China, a relationship that can withstand any challenges that come its way.